their destination here and there, like ants marching. So we got Madhu, she just made some salad and um, she's got a little apron on and she got back from work. And here we have the uh, living room. There's the salad she made. Chill pad with all the amenities. Desk for doing work and some stuff hanging around. Outside the window is Rochester. Say hello, Madhu. Hi. 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 Hello. What'd you cook for dinner? Today? Yeah. Um, I made some chickpeas with uh, a lot of uh, A lot fresh. of love? Yeah. Which Abhi had soaked, and, uh, like fresh beans, not tin buns. Um, and um, I just used all locally sourced ingredients in that, like shallot, onions, and. Is that them over there? All the locally yeah. sourced ingredients? Yeah. Wow, have a look at that, huh? Green chilies and tomatoes, and. I know they grew pineapples in England. That's crazy. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, thank you, Madhu. That's. Cool. And uh, yeah, and then there is some brown rice and why don't you come show us some which... salad there, avocado and and then I used all these uh, locally sourced oils, oh, yes. rapeseed oil from Kent and there is some soup in making with some leek, potatoes, sprouted broccoli and some coriander and some leek. It smells delicious. It absolutely, like, the smell wafting from that steam is so good and wholesome. And this is to Cooking. Yeah. Awesome. Very sweet. All right. Cool. And cool. this is some brown rice. Oh, uh, yeah. With the... Yeah. All right. Maybe it needs a little bit more cooking. It's looking good. Nice. Wow, look at those carrots, huh? Here, just hold that light behind you for one second. <laughs> oh, you're in the jungle! Ooh, not in the jungle! <laughs> Beautiful park here where a lot of people come and then they walk their dogs. It's quite often very busy with people uh, on the weekends. Just beautiful sun's coming out on the way home. And above us, this is the actual wall. Probably a cannonball shot that wall through at one point. And just behind here is, is Rochester Castle. So, just having a lovely ride home. Hoarding will be just like totally different. So this castle is a, you know, a sign that so much love prevailed during that time. That people just when they met each other, strangers and you know, they just embraced each other. And so this castle represents just love. I get a shot of these clouds. There's constantly 
these low-lying clouds that just wait over England. It's like really you can feel like you're on an island because you can see the sky is blue and then there's this, the high low clouds above normally the cloud of clouds that you would see but then it's almost like you can reach up and just touch the clouds because they're just so close because we're literally like in the ocean in the middle of the ocean on the island so it's got this like mist of ocean cloudiness it's just really really far out and they're moving really fast these clouds they come really fast not like the ones that are high up they're just kind of chilling up there these clouds they are moving so sometimes when it starts to rain you know it's, it may not rain very long it might just move on out so it's really kind of an unpredictable weather that's why everyone around here kind of dresses with a raincoat because you never know it might just start sprinkling rain. hi there how are you well, I'm freezing my butt off over here and it's cold. I am in England in November. I'm at a train station here. I took the wrong train. I don't know how I got here, but all I know is that luckily I brought a power out with me. Thank God for my friends at GoPals. I'm just going to open this thing up right now and I'm going to... I'm seriously totally hungry. All I had was like some smoothie and fruit today. Mm. 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 It's so good. Like super raw food, sprouty organic goodness. It's full of so many enzymes. I feel so ready. Just gonna rock on. Continue on my journey into London. Mm. Right on. This is the veggie vegan restaurant, 222. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's a mountain. Yeah, uh, yeah my dude, that's like your last bite. What can you say about this food? Never seen you eat a plate of food like that before. It's just, it's just so good. Just the food is so good. Everything tastes so fresh. Really fresh. And she was saying that it's all mostly organic ingredients and they only use extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, and also it's all fresh so they're not not like using microwaves or reheating or you know, so even the cook the cooking style makes a lot of difference. So when you're eating, you can actually feel the freshness and the taste of vegetables. Generally, they get lost in, you know, either they're too spiced up or they're... So it's not just on name of vegan, you, you just serve people like, you know, blank, boiled, which may be good, but this is like good combination of healthy greens and lentils. Very, very well cooked brown rice, actually. And um, yeah, and chickpeas and um, cauliflower was really good, really good. Yeah, I can see you polish that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see now I'm like, I I wish I can just like go and you know really lick lick that yeah, in honor. Yeah, sure, go for it if you like. For sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's see that. Look at there, that. Hi there, my name's Elaine, and today is Wednesday, the 11th of November. Today, um, we had Abby Rom come into the Tommy Tucker pub in Fulham, in London. And the Tommy Tucker, in case you didn't know, is Cockney rhyming slang, slang for supper, Tommy Tucker. Supper, so that's why it's a very clever name for this place. Uh, we had Abby Ron come in today, and he had just tea to warm him up because he was a bit cold because of all the travelling he was doing, and he seems really excited to be in a London pub. Unfortunately, I'm not a Londoner waitress. I'm from Ireland, but as in London, everyone's from everywhere, so you're never really going to meet all the English Cockney people. But yeah, this is a traditional English pub and he had a nice cup of tea and he's very excited all the way from Texas. <laughs> he, he's gonna tell y'all back home. He had a swell time here <laughs> in London <laughs> with the Irish lady who served him tea. 
So uh, very nice to share the experience with you all. It's a grey November day here. I hope it's sunnier wherever we all are. <laughs> so y'all come back now. You here? <laughs> Cheerio. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Hey. Hey, Grandma. How you doing? Hi there. <laughs> Do you want me to say something? I'll say something about your grandson, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So firstly, we're in London. And my name is John T, and I'm a friend of your grandson's, and uh, Abraham, right? Yeah, Abraham. Because right. I know him as Abiram, but Abraham, which is a lovely name. I want to say your grandson is the most beautiful person. He is so soft-hearted and so sincere and such a nice, beautiful friend. I'm really lucky to know him. So I want you to know, Grandma, you can be proud. He is awesome. Oh. Okay. How sweet. I mean Grand, it. I Grammy's, wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. She sends you a big hug. I know. She, she'll love that. And now over here we have... Hey, Grandma. It? How are you? <laughs> hey, Rob. My name's Rob. And I'm a good friend of Abby Ram's. I also know Abraham as Abby Ram too. And we met in India in December of last year at a yoga and naturopathy conference. And we struck up a very good friendship there. And we've been in touch ever since. And we're chilling here at his friend's place, enjoying ourselves and having a great dinner and chat amongst friends. Nice, nice. Thanks, Rob. So yeah, here, Granny, here's uh, the beautiful bounty of uh, holistic foods that we'll be preparing. And here's his beautiful place in London, downtown London. And uh, we'll be doing some exercises and just having a good time the next couple of days. So... Sending you lots of love, Granny. Bye.